Hey everyone, real quick, I'd like to share with you some good news, but before I share you some good news, I gotta share you some bad news. All of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We shrivel up like a leaf, and like the wind, our sins sweep us away. Indeed, there is no one on earth who is righteous, no one who does what is right and never sins. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. Be perfect, therefore, as your Heavenly Father is perfect. So, the standard for getting into heaven is perfection. You gotta not be a sinner. That's, that's bad news. It means that I'm not going to heaven. It means that you're not going to heaven. It means that nobody's going to heaven. But that's where we get to the good news. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. So we need to be born again to see the kingdom of God. We need God's grace. We need to be born again by the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit to empower to empower us to believe in Jesus Christ. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You aren't getting into heaven by your own righteousness, period. You aren't getting into heaven any way except through Jesus. You must be born again and believe in Jesus Christ. But that's not possible unless you're born of the Spirit. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. And you were also included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. So guys, it's pretty simple. Even a child can accept the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you can share it with anybody. You just gotta believe in Jesus. You gotta confess that he is Lord. You gotta confess that he's the Lord of your life. Believe that he's the only way to the Father. And if you are born again, you will believe. And you will repent from your sins. So I hope that's helpful, guys. If you want to hear more about the good news, then stick around on this channel. Thanks, and have a great day.